Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I ranked number one with a brand new website directly inside ChatGPT, as you can see right here. So this is a brand new domain, actually automated the whole process with AI. When I searched yesterday, I couldn't find my tool at all, right? So for example, you can see here yesterday, these are some of my searches and you can see enterprise SEO ROI tools. That was a search I did yesterday and we were nowhere to be found. Let me just double check. It's still ranking. Let's just throw in another little cheeky search right there. And we can see, yes, it's still ranking. And the beautiful thing about this is it's linking directly to our website, as you can see. And the way that we did this, right? Super simple tweak is that this website was not indexed on Bing previously, right? So you can see it's ranking number one on Bing right here. This is a DR zero new site set up a couple of days ago. And the only reason that it's ranking number one inside Bing and number two inside ChatGPT within eight hours is because we set this up. Now I've shown you proof that this tool was not indexing inside ChatGPT yesterday, but as soon as we index the content inside Bing Webmaster Tools, which you can see we did eight hours ago, it says eight hours ago at the top of this notification right here. As soon as we did that, it got indexed within a few hours, probably less than eight hours, honestly, got indexed inside ChatGPT and it also got indexed inside Bing and it's ranking on both, my friend. One of the things we actually did here is if you check out the domain, we went for an exact match domain, right? So if you're going for one keyword, then you would put that keyword inside the domain of the URL that you want to rank for. The other thing to note here is that if we check out the code, so if we check out the source code for this particular post, you can see inside the body, the code is so clean. And you can see here, there's basically nothing in the code here. It's just super clean, super simple, actually comes out at like 100 out of 100 on page speed. Whereas if you look at the WordPress code for this particular website, you can see it's messy, it's nasty, it's sloppy. It just, it isn't clean code, right? Even I know that. And therefore this is probably a superior way to build websites. Now I honestly think that building websites inside Bol is superior to building them directly inside WordPress. Now you don't get as much freedom when you're creating the website, but it does save you a lot of time and it can be very easily automated. So for example, let's say you want to rank for a keyword like a best productivity calculator. You can say, okay, best productivity calculator. And this is the keyword that we're targeting for this particular keyword. We're going to say, okay, create a tool for the best productivity calculator. And then inside the prompt here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this prompt as you can see, which is what I've used previously for creating content. We're going to plug that inside there. And we say, right, keyword equals best productivity calculator. All right, so we're going to create the tool and then we're going to create the article that goes with it. And then we'll keep the content SEO optimized, but simple, easy to use. And we'll also include some relevant source context about us. So the whole website is tailored to our CTA and where we want to send the traffic. Now, at this point, you might be saying, why would you write it with Bolt? Bolt automates and deploys the whole tool for you in a couple of minutes. You might say, okay, why are we targeting keywords like this? Because tools rank really well and you're actually creating something of value that people would want to click on inside the SERPs. And that's not going to get replaced by AI. Once you've done this, it's actually going to give you a preview in a second, and it could just generate the content and the tool in one single prompt, and then embed that across your whole website. Now, there's also something important about the whole optimization process that I'll come on to in a second as well. But in the meantime, let me show you what this tool looks like. Now, it's going to take a minute or so for the preview to come out here, but now you can see it's generated the output. Now, if you don't like what you see, Let's say, for example, we want to change the icon right there. If we want to change that icon, uh, you can just ask Bolt. You can take a screenshot. If you see any problems here, like, for example, for me personally, I would like there to be nicer line spacing, some page twos, etc. Then you can ask it. And also you can see here, I was generated these nice little click downs and it's got a nice little CTA on the page to join the SEO elite circle. And you can just link it to whatever funnels you want to send traffic to. Super simple. Then we've got the tool underneath that people can use and they can use it on the website. And you can see if we click on deploy over here, We've got the SEO optimized content. We've got the tool built into the site. I would actually prefer to put the tool right at the top simply because then it's going to be easier for the user to navigate. But once we've done all of this, then it will deploy the website. As you can see, we can open it up. It's all embedded. If you don't like what you see, doesn't matter. You can change it later. And then you can actually claim and deploy this website. Now, once you deploy this website, right, and you click add projects to Netify, and then you click on the site, you set up a custom domain and you can just buy it instantly. So easy and fast. Once you've done that, two things you want to do ASAP, my friend, absolutely pronto. Number one, get it on Search Console. You can see, for example, as soon as we set up the site, boom, 96 clicks in one day, right? 
Most people talk about the sandbox period. We totally forgot about that in this process and just bypassed it. The same with Bing, right? So on Bing, you want to click on add a site, insert the domain details of your site and get those index ASAP. Bing Webmaster Tools, I, I think most people completely ignored it previously, but if it's going to index you on Bing and it's going to index you on ChatGPT, 100% worth it. Same with Google Search Console, just getting that website indexed inside Google Search Console is going to help you get traffic and help you rank faster and get you indexed quicker as well. And then the other thing is when you're buying this domain, I would recommend going with exact match domain, right? So for example, if we're going for best productivity calculator in the keyword, then we want to insert that inside our domain name. Google knows exactly what the website is about. It's kind of overpowered for ranking for that keyword. And hopefully it sends us straight to number one in a few hours. And that's really as simple as that. Now, this is very experimental. So obviously ChatGPT search has just come out. But from what I've seen, it's no coincidence that yesterday when we didn't use Bing Webmaster Tools and we set up this website a few days ago, yesterday when we didn't have Bing Webmaster Tools, this website was not in the index and it was not ranking the chat. GPT didn't know about it. As soon as we got that website on Bing Webmaster Tools over here, even though the data is going to take like 48 hours to propagate, you can see here it's already ranking inside ChatGPT. You can see here it's ranking number one on Google and Bing. That's it. That's how easy it is, right? So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is I've got all of the SAPs and tips from today, all the prompts, all the workflows, etc. I've even got this whole section on how to monetize your tools so that when people do land on it and you do get traffic, you can monetize it and get traffic to your funnels as well, which is going to make you more money. And Additionally, you can see here's a prompt that we use for Bob and you can just tailor that and customize it to your business. I've also built out a bunch of prompts, for example, building out keyword research tools, content writers. If you want to build an AI SEO tool, that's a topical map maker, content analyzers, etc., and a whole SAP on how to create and embed and deploy these tools. Then what I'm going to do is I will take these SAPs and these tips and templates. We'll go into my AI SEO success lab which is completely free to join link in the comments and description and we'll add a new page here inside the bolt.new playlist so you can see we've got a bunch of tutorials already directly in here and if you want to rank number one inside chat gpt search you know exactly what worked for me right it's experimental it's early days anyone who's telling you they know exactly how this works is misleading you but if you want to learn exactly what worked for me and how I did it, there you go. I'm probably the only person sh testing and showing this stuff to you on YouTube, right? By the way, this community is completely free. You can post in the community. You can ask people questions. It comes with a leaderboard of cool giveaways, as you can see right here. And additionally, there's tons of cool stuff inside the classroom. So make sure you join it. Link in the comments and description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to book then. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. We'll give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. You'll get your questions answered. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for me. Appreciate you watching. Thanks as always. As promised, I've shown you how I rank number one in eight hours on a brand new site with AI SEO and Bolt. That's what works for me. Enjoy. Bye-bye.